Buildcorp's mission is to ensure that everyone on every Buildcorp site goes home safe every day. So our proactive safety initiatives have helped us efficiently manage the, the COVID situation because of those proactive initiatives coming from our project teams and our subcontractors. Those great ideas have been filtered through our system which we've been able to review and feedback to all other projects so they can then pick up those initiatives and standardise those proactive safety initiatives to help us reduce the risk of the coronavirus on our sites. Our members, including Bill Corp, have been very um, forthcoming in, in getting a, a second opinion on controls and, and processes put in place. Bill Corp one of the first to, to put, get on the front foot and put that type of um, information together. Um, and it was with consultation with Bill Corp and, and Dave that um, we utilised uh, X amount of that in our guidance um, to, to increase the awareness um, more broadly across the industry. So one of the key proactive safety initiatives right back at the beginning that came through from one of our projects was the coronavirus screening questionnaire. We now complete that once a week on every Bill Corp site for every worker and also every visitor to fill out before they come on site. Our hoist, which would normally hold up to 15 people, we've reduced that down to no more than three people in the hoist. That also includes the lift driver, so just two workers per run in the hoist. The extra hand wash stations with soap and paper towel, the prompts on the floor to remind people to stay more than 1.5 metres away from one another. Many of these initiatives are now standard across all our sites. The Transurban crew has been very, very proactive. They took an approach where um, it was second to none. We've got hand sanitizer stations everywhere. People are um, using them. The toilets have been reconfigured where all the wash basins have been closed off and every second toilet bay has been closed off as well. Social distancing is very important. Outside, it's the only wash area, so it's all ventilated. People are using it and it's just easily accessible. The general feeling from our subcontractors are that they have actually really enjoyed what we've done. They know that we're taking it seriously, not just for Bill Corp, but for them as well. Leading the teams around and just sharing the information has been a big benefit to us all. Some of the initiatives we've implemented on the Minter Olsen project include an increase to the size of our lunchroom to maintain social distancing restrictions uh, for a larger workforce later on in the project. Uh, we split lunch breaks with uh, each of the trades being allocated a specific time slot. Uh, we undertake thorough cleaning of the site of the amenities twice daily. And then with these initiatives, we've been able to maintain progress uh, and with a good volume of workers on site and we're still pushing on business as usual. Uh, we're here at 44 Martin Place. This is a premium redevelopment of a heritage building in the heart of the city. We're currently doing a number of things to protect our client and build for along the journey of this project. These include uh, managing our procurement of materials from overseas and also ensuring that social distancing measures and hygiene are implemented with site visits from both the architect and the client during sample inspections, for example, and site walks. We're currently here at Ultimo looking at a remedial uh, project, live environment, to manage the access and uh, contact between workers who are daily screened and residents by having a locked off working area um, in which they travel via the scaffold down the hoist onto a B-class hoarding and then down through one street door, which is very separate to the lobby um, in which the residents do come and go from daily. It stops people from coming into contact with each other and also keeps the job safe. So some of the best proactive safety initiatives we've found over the past few weeks with the coronavirus is have actually come from our subcontractors with our site teams to work where they work together to try and find innovative ways to uh, manage the risk. We just helped out with um, making a few extra hand wash bays around the job, just like the one behind me. The more opportunity for the guys to clean up and stay clean. It's always easier if someone's setting the benchmark, it's always easier for the guys to follow. So Bill Corp do a pretty good job at that. Patrick, our safety coordinator, is really good at communicating with the guys through toolbox talks and keeping everyone informed. My team feels safe uh, every day. With the situation affecting everyone and restrictions placed on the site, we're still able to deliver the project as if it was normal operations. I think this is the greatest achievement for the team and also for the trades. I really applaud the building construction industry for doing their damnedest to keep what is an essential service ongoing during this time. And hopefully we can, as an industry, manage this crisis together.